2010, the Russian Navy declassified several documents containing statistics about UFO sightings across the world. These reports date back all the way to Soviet times and come from a special Navy group intended to gather reports about unexplained phenomena. This group was headed by a man named Admiral Nikolai Smirnov. Vladimir Azhaja, a former Navy intelligence operative, says that 50% of UFO sightings take place near the ocean. An additional 15% take place involving lakes or near them, which he says is indication that UFOs are connected in some way to water. One of the reports talks about a nuclear sub somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. It says that this submarine detected six unknown objects. They attempted to escape the objects by outmaneuvering them, but the objects were faster and more maneuverable than the submarine and kept pace easily. In a last-ditch effort, the captain ordered the crew to go to the surface. The craft followed them up to the surface, then passed them, exited the water, and flew away. A man named Vladimir Kremlev said that on many occasions, naval instruments would report objects moving through the ocean at impossible speeds. They were moving at about 230 knots, which is about the same as 248 miles per hour. He says going that fast is hard even on the surface, but under the water with all the water pressure dragging against the sub, it's nearly impossible. Because whoever made these craft must have far superior technology to what we have. Nuclear subs go about 46 miles per hour at their top speed, with the fastest sub in recorded history hitting only 51 miles per hour. The fastest fish in the ocean is the sailfish. It's reached only 61 miles per hour as opposed to 248 miles per hour fully underwater. These are speeds that are unthinkable. Navy intelligence operative Igor Barclay says that UFOs tend to gather wherever NATO fleets are concentrated. He says it happens most often in the deepest part of the Atlantic, the southern part of the Bermuda Triangle, and areas in the Caribbean. The Russian Lake Baikal, the deepest freshwater lake in the world, which contains about 20% of the world's freshwater total, is surrounded by myths and legends. The fishermen there say that lights are sometimes seen in the depths, way down below their boats, as well as seeing strange objects zipping out of the water and into the sky. In 1982, a group of seven Russian military divers were there on a training exercise. They saw several silver-bodied people who they thought were in some kind of suit swimming through the water. They compared them to a popular Russian shark man from a game or something like that. Their superior told them to capture these creatures, and they had no contact from them after that. They found them washed up on the shore a few hours later. Four of them were in a decompression capsule and alive, but seriously injured. Three of them's capsule malfunctioned or was broken by something and were dead in their pods. Vladimir Zhaja said that underwater bases shouldn't be ruled out. He said that skepticism is always the easy path, but we should be willing to give any theory a chance and challenge expectations and preconceived notions if we want to progress in science. While people have never been to the bottom of Lake Baikal, they haven't found any underwater bases. What they have found are strange statues of little men, silvery humanoids, weird lights, toxins in the soil, and much more. I've managed to track down some pictures online of the tiny statues as well as the lights for you to see. I think this is really interesting because it's the first time I've heard military reports claiming the existence of alien life. I heard that the Canadian Minister of Foreign Affairs or something like that believes in aliens and has a lot of crazy stories about that. If you ever want to hear about that, I would love to make a video about it, so let me know down below. The Russian government has claimed that these people are unsubstantiated and are lying about this, but it's worth noting that the Soviet Union and the Russians in general were always very, very secretive about UFOs. When the phenomena first started, they actually banned anyone from making jokes about them, and highly valued any information related to them, and then later wrote them off as a hoax and a joke. So it wouldn't be that crazy for them to be trying to cover this up if these people started speaking out about it. As always, it's up to you which side to believe. Scientists say that the glowing lights could be caused by methane gases coming out of the water, but other than the fact that the methane gases would explain the phenomena there, there is no evidence for there being methane gases in the lake, apparently. They say there's no concrete evidence that there are substantial amounts of methane gases being released from the lake that cause the glowing, only that that's something that could explain the things that they observed there. Either way, I thought this was really interesting, and it definitely made me think more about whether or not I believe in aliens. Let me know down below if you believe in aliens, and thanks for watching. Suspect something isn't right They're shifting eyes betray their smiles All the while the sirens singing